Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to study working of simple vapor compression refrigeration cycle. So let us first understand what are the important parts for this cycle. So if we observe here is the evaporator, then compressor, condenser, receiver and expansion valve. Now we will first understand what is the working of the compressor. So if we observe this compressor here are two holes and the previous part is evaporator. So the refrigerant is entering from the evaporator at low pressure and low temperature vapor form. So here from the evaporator the refrigerant is at the vapor form and it is at low pressure and low temperature and it is entering through the suction wall A. And in the compressor, compression process is taking place and its a temperature and pressure is getting increased. So here from the discharge valve B, it is getting discharged the refrigerant at high pressure and high temperature in the vapor form and it is coming to the condenser. Now what is happening in the condenser that is the cooling process is taking place and either air or water for the cooling purpose is used. So here the refrigerant gives up its latent heat to the surrounding medium which is air or water. So what is the meaning of this latent heat? That means latent heat means what? That is the heat getting involved in the phase change. So here the refrigerant is in the vapor form. So when it gives its latent heat this vapor is getting converted into the liquid or liquid vapor mixture so at this point that is when cooling process is getting completed in the condenser here the refrigerant is in the form of high pressure high temperature liquid vapor mixture and then it is supplied to the receiver so what is the function of receiver so here this refrigerant is now in the liquid form. So this liquid refrigerant is getting stored and then supplied to the evaporator through this expansion valve. So here the what is the function of receiver that is to store the incoming refrigerant from this condenser. Now after this receiver it is supplied to the expansion valve. So expansion means what? So we know that in the expansion process the pressure is slightly getting decreased. So here the partial expansion is taking place. So in the receiver the refrigerant is at high pressure and high temperature but in the liquid form. So remember here the only refrigerant form is changed or phase is getting changed. Here it is in the liquid form but at high pressure and high temperature. So what is the function of this expansion valve. So here it allows the liquid refrigerant at high pressure and high temperature and it passes to this evaporator at controlled rate. So it is very important the function of the expansion valve is to pass this high pressure and high temperature refrigerant at controlled rate. But here partial expansion is taking place that means this high pressure and high temperature uh, liquid refrigerant is getting converted into the low pressure or somewhat reduced pressure and temperature. So here in small amount pressure and temperature is getting reduced. So here after this process of expansion here the refrigerant is at low pressure and it is in the form of liquid vapor mixture. Here only liquid is there because in the receiver only liquid form is getting stored and here after the expansion here the refrigerant is at low pressure low temperature but in the liquid vapor form. Now we will move to the next that is the evaporator. When in the expansion valve there is the slight decrease in pressure and temperature of this liquid refrigerant and it is getting converted into low pressure low temperature liquid vapor refrigerant. Now this low pressure low temperature liquid vapor refrigerant is getting entered into this evaporator. So what is happening in the evaporator that is it is again 
the phase change process is taking place so this liquid vapor refrigerant is completely converted into the vapor refrigerant and for this phase change process again the latent heat is getting absorbed from the medium which is to be cooled so this is very important that is the function of evaporator here actual cooling process is taking place so when we observe the our refrigerator that is one of the application and the evaporator is placed in the area where the cooling is done so for all where the process of making the ice from water or where the lower temperature is required so that place the phase change of this refrigerant is taking place and again here the pressure and temperature of this refrigerant is getting lowered so here the low pressure liquid vapor mixture is getting converted into low pressure low temperature vapor refrigerant